Ever wondered what would happen if you tried to row a cruise ship? Spoiler, it's the world's most ridiculous arm workout. Alternate opening. Grab your imaginary paddle, because today we're rowing a cruise ship back to shore. So, your cruise ship breaks down. Forget the engine. Just grab a really long oar and start paddling from the balcony, right? Not so fast. The average cruise ship weighs over 200,000 tons. That's basically floating skyscrapers. To move it, you'd need 60 million watts of energy. For comparison, a pro rower can crank out maybe 300 watts. So you'd need an army, more than 200,000 people rowing together. That means every inch of the ship is packed with rowers and their lunchboxes. But here's the kicker. All those people would add 17,000 extra tons to the ship. So now, you need even more rowers, over 220,000. At this point, you're sinking the ship before you even move it an inch. So next time your cruise dies, maybe just call for a tow. Or, start a new Olympic sport, extreme group paddling.